it's time to spill the beans on my secret project that I've been keeping from you. I didn't even mean to do that. Today's the day. I'm going to tell you what's going on. Giveaway. Veteran Help Centre. First, let me tell you that this is a descriptor of what we're going to be doing. It's not our official name. I'm keeping the official name secret until we can get a VIP to come unveil the name and open the building properly but for now this is my shingle to hang on my building in Kayama New South Wales but I'm not doing this alone I have a partner and that partner is soldier on this acronym HELP is their acronym it stands for Health and Well-Being, Employment Services, Learning and Participation. And I think for me, the two important ones here are Learning and Participation. So the Learning part of it, my intent is to pass on what knowledge I can in the soft skills area, specifically relevant to Contact Magazine. So I want to teach or mentor or guide people in writing, photography, computer skills, website design, social media management, all those things. It may not necessarily be me doing the teaching, but with the building we now have a hub, a center where we can bring people together, the teachers and the learners, into one building in the most beautiful town in Australia. Don't fight me on that. The participation side of things is this kind of hands-on, pottering in shed kind of stuff. We have a space which used to accommodate, I won't say exactly what it is or where it is, just yet because I'm going to take you there in a minute and I'll show you where the building is. This center will be opened unofficially for business the very first minute I get my hands on keys and I will be inviting you the audience to come and help me to set it up to clean it to paint it to change carpets whatever needs to be done I want I would like, I want to invite you to come and help me set it up. But not just the cleaning and refurbishment, it's also the ideas. What do you want to see happen in this center? I'd love you to participate in the Veteran Help Center in Kayama. I won't rattle on too much here now. What I want to do is let's go for a drive into town i'll show you where my new building is but while i'm driving there how about you have a look at this new branding exercise that i've come up with which haven't hasn't been approved by soldier on yet but you'll see it the same time they see it it may be changed it may not So this is Kayama, Kayama, New South Wales, don't know if you're familiar with it, but let me give you a bit of a tour here. So this is our main street, up there, shops and cafes all up along that side of the street. On this side we've got a famous building, hang on, I better get the sun in the right position. The old uh, fire station that's currently used as an art gallery. There's a public toilet. 
that there somebody else is going to occupy that space right there and this right here is for contact and soldier on the contact soldier on veteran help center we've got two rooms on the left inside of that door and then underneath this building is a large garage that used to house the ambulances because this is the old Illawarra District Ambulance Station which has now been vacant for over a year so as I said I am super excited by the location of this building it's actually smack bang in the middle of Main Street in Kayama so let me show you around the back as well down here we've got a beautiful park So in there is where the ambulances used to be parked. Two massive doors and all of that downstairs space is mine. Uh, there's showers and storage in there as well. And then the second room that I have is upstairs there on that balcony. That's where I started talking to you just now with the pub on the corner come down this back street here and then drive in here where we've got a bit of parking and plenty of room to turn around and that's our building let's see if we can get a closer look not much else I can show you right now I've got to wait about I think three weeks before I get the keys so when I do get keys to this place I'll be asking you guys to come help me out it's a big space it needs lots of cleaning uh, painting maybe some new carpets and also plenty of tools in that bottom space there there's room for several benches and lots of tools and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the word out and I'm putting the word out right now that this place needs stuff it needs uh, it needs tools it needs uh, benches it needs furniture so if you have anything in your garage that you're not using and you want to pass on to a good a good home love to hear from you uh, Obviously, well, hopefully, and beggars can't be choosers, but hopefully it would be uh, easily accessed from Kayama, New South Wales. Love to hear from you if you have anything that you want to donate to our space here. I am very excited. The fact that this opens out onto the main street of my local town you know it's, it's it's just heaven sent how can it get any better than that even though my face doesn't express emotion very well I hope that you appreciate that I am over the moon about this uh, I'm really excited I'm really excited to get you guys involved I really need you guys to be involved I want you to come here I want you to participate I want you to send me your ideas I want you to inundate me with emails and Facebook messages and comments on this video every little bit helps this is a partnership between contact and soldier on because we both have expertise in different areas but because this is a contact involvement that also means that there's the opportunity for the learning and the education in the writing and photography and web design and all that sort of stuff I talked about but it's there and it's active and it's running right now so if you come here or even by distance learning you learn how to write a news story you learn how to write a feature story and you've got at your fingertips the platform to publish that straight away and there's no better way to learn stuff 
than by actually doing it and doing it for real. There might be people out there who have the idea that they would like to write their memoirs. They would like to write about their experiences in Afghanistan or Iraq or East Timor, wherever it was. If you want to write that, but you don't know where to start, we can help you. We can help you to get your thoughts together. We can help you to polish your words. We can help you, once it's finished, to get it published. So that's a, that's a big aspect of this new place. It's not just the woodworking or the metalworking, which is all good. And by the way, when the metalworking and the woodworking is happening, the cameras are rolling, the video gets edited and put on YouTube. It all adds to the contact offering. It all involves and engages and draws people in more content, more subscribers, more activity in the shed. More activity in the shed means more videos. More videos means, you know what I'm saying? It all goes around. So these are my thoughts evolving. I'm not expressing myself very well because these are evolving thoughts. But now we have the place to evolve into. Think of yourself visiting a balcony up there, a couple of chairs, kick back with a coffee that you buy just across the road. Uh, that's the thing too, um, if you want to come here to participate with us for a while, for a day, a night, a weekend, a week, a month, you're welcome at your own expense. But we've got the Sydney Electric Rail comes all the way down here to Kayama. Uh, we've got heaps of accommodation. This is a tourist town. So you've got everything from the Siebel Townhouse Hotel to uh, camping, caravans, um, cabins, motels, hotels. We've got the whole works here, so I'm sure Kayama would love to see you. I'm sure Kayama would love for you to spend your money down here. And sure as eggs, I would love to see you down here to give me a hand kicking this place into shape. So there you go, that's my secret that I've been teasing you with. I have been teasing you with this for two years, maybe 18 months. If you recall, I did a video on a cruise ship about 18 months ago where Rosie was at a nurses conference on the ship and I was in a little alcove writing on my computer teasing you about something big some about expanding contact that was my mantra at the time I needed to expand contact to make it viable well now with uh, soldier arms help contact is viable not just for me but for them too this is a strategic partnership a full-on partnership that will see big things happening hopefully for both contact and for soldier on in an actual physical space on the main street of Kayama New South Wales I'd do a jig if I wasn't in public I'll probably do it anyway. Right, back to making that sign.